For this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem called solving a percent mixture problem using a system of linear equations. So again here we know we're going to end up with a system of linear equations. In the problem situation we're told a chef is going to use a mixture of two brands of Italian dressing. The first brand contains 8% vinegar and the second brand contains 13% vinegar. The chef wants to make 330 milliliters of a dressing that is 12% vinegar. How much of each brand should he use? So starting with the final question, how much of each brand should he use? I'm going to use that to decide on my variables. So I'm going to call brand 1 x milliliters. So we're going to use x milliliters of brand 1 and brand 2 I'll call that y milliliters. So I know that the total amount of dressing is going to be 330 milliliters. So that tells me if I take the amount of brand 1 x and I add the amount of brand 2, y, the total is going to be 330 milliliters. And to get the second equation, I'm going to have to look at the actual amount of vinegar. So for brand 1, it's an 8% mixture of vinegar. So to find out how much vinegar is going to be from brand 1, we're going to multiply and we would have 8% of brand X plus brand Y is 13% vinegar. So that's 0.13 times Y. So 8% of X is vinegar, 13% of Y is vinegar. And when we put those together, we're going to end up with a mixture that is 12% vinegar and we know how much of that we're going to have. It's 330 milliliters. So for the first equation we looked at the total volume, 330, and for the second equation we looked at the total amount of vinegar, 8% of x, 13% of y, giving us a result that's 12% of 330. Now that we have our two equations, I'm just going to clean up this second equation here a little bit because we can go ahead and multiply that right hand side, get a cleaner equation. So 0.12 times 330 is 39.6. So I'm just going to replace that with 39.6. And we could either use a graphing utility at this point or we can do substitution or elimination. I'm going to go with elimination and I'm just going to clean up both of these equations by multiplying. So on the bottom for example I'm going to get rid of all of these decimals by multiplying by 100. And when I distribute for that first term it moves the decimal two places and gives me 8x. For the second term I distribute and again move the decimal two places it gives me 13y. Lastly move that right hand side number two decimal places and it gives me 3960. So the goal here was to get rid of the decimals so that we don't have to do any calculations with them. And when I multiply the top I want to multiply by something that's going to get one of those terms to cancel. So I'm going to multiply it by a negative 8 with the goal of getting the x's to cancel. So distributing the first term, negative 8 times x is negative 8x. Negative 8 times y is a negative 8y. And then negative 8 times 330 is negative 2640. So these two equations that I now have, I can add those equations and whenever I add them, the x values are going to cancel. 
So on the left hand side, negative 8y plus 13y gives me a 5y equals, on the right hand side, when I subtract, I get 1320. I can then solve for the y by dividing both sides by 5, and that leaves me with y equals 264. So we have half of our solution, and I'm again going to look back at the original equations and substitute this in. So I'm not going to choose the one with the decimals, I'm going to choose the one on the top that's nice and clean, and I'm going to replace that y with 264. So rewriting that equation, it's going to be x plus y, which we just said is 264, equals 330. And to solve for x, I can subtract the 264 from both sides. I'll be left with x on the left hand side and 66 on the right hand side. So I'm going to use 66 milliliters of brand 1 and 264 milliliters of brand 2.